What's up, everyone? Jersey Johnny here. I wanted to show you guys a little tip that uh, that I picked up. That um, most of you guys, if you Googled on YouTube and and found other channels, you probably got the wrong information. Um, if you have a LG OLED, that's what I have right now. But it, this goes for all OLEDs. Um, but I don't ha I don't have the information for the other brands other than LG, uh, as you'll see in a minute. Um, but um, as you can see right now, how dark my my screen is. Uh, my my camera is gonna make it look brighter than it is, but it's literally like pitch black. All right, um, I'm gonna move it around a little so you can see what I mean how dark it is it takes a second look, and now look how bright it look that's the way it should be all right now people are going to tell you that oh that's uh that's you know the eco settings or you go to main menu and uh turn turn them all off turn local dimming off all that stuff. it's none of that 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 they don't know what they're talking about uh Yes, I do turn all that stuff off too, but the only way you could turn this off, this this issue, and if you if you have this TV, the LG C2, um, and you're especially if you're using it as a monitor, you definitely know what I'm talking about. Like that, it, it going dark like that happens all the time. And it's not because of heat. It's not because of you know any anything. It, it's, it's, it's no, like I said, it's not to save energy. It's, um, it's your temporal peak luminance control, all right? Your, your TPC, it's called. Uh, every OLED has it, and the only way you can, you can change it or fix it is to buy a service remote, all right? I have the LG service remote right here. I could show you what it is. This is what it looks like for the LG. What you have to do is go on Amazon, type in LG service remote, okay? This is the remote they use when they come to fix it. When you put that in Amazon, all right, you're going to see a remote that looks like this up at top that's like 19 bucks, and you scroll down just a little, You'll see this exact remote for $7.99 or $8.99. I think $7.99. That's the one you want, the $7.99 one. It'll come in two, two days, you know, if you have prime shipping, just like most people. Uh, and the way you fix this is right here in your upper left right here. There's a button called Instart, I-N-S-T-A-R-T, okay? When you hit it, the problem, you need a password, all right? I have the LG password. I don't have the other passwords. The LG passwords, password is 0413. Boom, we're into the, the menu that we need to be in, all right? This is a warning. Doing this will will ruin your warranty. Okay, um, they won't know, necessarily know that you were in this menu unless they run a diagnostic to check. You know what I mean? If they if they suspect that you were in in this menu and stuff, then it could void your warranty. Just letting you know, and you don't change any other options but the one I'm telling you right now because you could brick your TV. All right, um, I have the Best Buy uh, four-year replacement, no matter what uh, warranty. That this will still be covered. Uh, it's just your factory warranty will be ruined if you go into the menu because you, you're supposed to go. All right, when you're here, all right. I know you can't see, uh, but just listen to me. You're gonna use the arrow keys, and you're gonna go down to where it says OLED, that's number 12, all right? Right at the top 
of the next column right here, all right, is TPC enabled, and it's on on. That's what I was telling you. That's that's your te temporal peak luminance control, and it's enabled, and that's what makes your TV. Whether you have it set at 100 or 75 or 50, it's always going to keep turning down on you. Okay? So, we want to go over there. We want to turn this to off. There we go. Turn it to off. And we should be good to go. Hit the exit button, and that is it, my friends. That's how you fix that annoying dimming of your uh, of your OLED screen. Now, um, I I have codes for other people for other versions of. Uh, of, so if you go get get a if you have a different um, a different brand TV than LG, uh, you're gonna need a different remote. So you'll have to Google that. Oops. You'll have to Google that. And uh, I'm trying to try and do this here with one hand with a selfie stick. Okay. Get on there. There we go. All right. So we just I'm just muting it right now. So, um, so I'll give you a couple of uh of codes in case you own own any other brands. Uh, I'll give you the codes. It's up to you to find uh, what remote you need. All right, LG, like I just showed you, is zero four one three. Um, let's see. Samsung. Samsung looks actually a little. <laughs> A little different. <laughs> it's a little more difficult. Uh, Samsung, it's you actually can point your actual remote at the infrared sensor on a TV, and while it's on, you press mute. One one nine. Okay, okay, on the remote control, and it'll open the hospitality menu. Then you press one two three four. And that'll enter the service menu without resetting uh, all your regular menu settings. All right. Um, I thought I had more on here uh, as far as uh, codes, but I don't. So that's how you fix the LG uh, the LG dimming problem. So it's gone and. It was so annoying, man. So, I just added another thing. I forgot to show you guys real quick. Uh, recent play. Where is, uh, here we go. Let's go to the... Oops, passed it. So, you know how I get bored. So, I, uh, picked up a box of, uh, LED multifunction police lights. <laughs> so, right here's here's the game Fire. This is, this is an old game. All right. So I got my beacons up top, as you can see. All right, and I put two of the strobes above my uh, my matrix speaker uh, things. I like to call. Uh, but let's see if I can, if, with one hand, if I can get the, there you go. So I got all these police lights, the, 
all the police LED lights. It look it looks awesome now when the when the uh, beacons go off and then you got the LEDs and what's good is I have uh, let me see if I can get you back here. Yikes. It's gonna be hard for me to see. Uh, yeah, you're not gonna see. Um, but I have terminals back there where I can actually put. Um, I don't have to open up the the cabinet anymore to to like add things with the wires. I have ter terminals there where I can I can add. You know, I can put more flashers. I wanted to put flashers underneath, but as you can see, I really don't need it. Need to. It's I got those big gigantic <laughs> that's that was my this is my under cab lighting folks <laughs> that's it instead of running it all the way around it into a four uh i was lazy and i just i just went instead of having my speaker uh grills they're six inch rings they're all connected the rings uh they're six inches, uh, you know, deep. Those ones that you saw underneath are nine. So, it, it, they're like blinding. That's why I, I actually changed it. I had the nine, uh, the nines up there, but it just, it was just too much with the flasher bar and stuff. But, I think it looks dope. So, there you go, guys. That's the, uh, that's my little tip for the day. Uh, you gotta get your service menu. It's $8. Uh, in, you hit the in start button. 0413 is the code. And you're, you're turning off your TP. C. Or, no, or they call it TP. Uh, yeah, TP safe. They don't. They don't use uh, one of the words in their their abbreviation. But you turn with TPC off like that, like I showed you, your temporal peak luminous, and you'll be good to go. And it'll be nice and super bright, uh, even even in selfie stick mode uh, with this camera, which is a crappy camera. Uh, still still looks good all right so everyone good seeing you guys we got I got another thing going if you look right here what is that that's a 32 inch 4k LG but that nice screen what's next to it let's see what we got here It's from California, from Al Linky. What could this be? It's a pixel deck. But I, I got rid of my At Games, uh, my At Games machine. So what could, what, what, uh, what cabinet am I, do I have that I have to build? That is right. If it's, uh, if, <laughs> if you're not reading it backwards, hold this up to a mirror and you'll be able to read it <laughs> because I'm using the selfie stick. But, uh, that's where this, uh, pixel LED marquee is going on my brand new. See, I see, see who's reopened. It's not official yet. But it's coming. It's just a little sneak peek for anyone I, that stuck with me through this whole video. Yeah, that's a, that's a Pixelcade LED for the 32-inch Rec Room Masters extension upright, baby. They're back. They're back, baby. Can't wait. Can't wait. Got my spot right here on the wall. Take down that stupid fan. 
I just turned my end table long ways and it fits perfect right here. I mean, you can't tell I'm excited about it. Uh, so excited that um, I went out and bought uh, an RTX 4070 Ti uh, for my for like my home. I don't have a gaming computer at home. I have the computer that runs the pinball. It has an RTX 3090 in it, and then I got this little uh, this little guy right here. He's gonna be going into the to the rec room masters. This little little piece of crap uh, that has a, a Ryzen Ryzen uh, eight thousand. So is that? I don't know. If it's six core, four core. I think six core, twelve threads, or eight core, sixteen. I don't know. It's it's a it's a good CPU, uh, but I'm putting uh, an RTX 3080 Ti in there uh, because if if I try and put, believe it or not, for you to use that might not know the RTX 4070 Ti destroys. The RTX 3090 and like all the all the benchmarks they come or have come very close. They don't even bench to 3090. They're they're benching it uh, against 3090 Ti's um, because the 3090 is the GPU is running at like 1200 megahertz and it boosts to like 18, whereas the 4070 Ti it's its GPU is running at 22, 2300 megahertz, and it boosts to like 2800 megahertz. So it's sick, insane, sweet. So, also, shout out to Glenn. <laughs> no, we can say it till late. All right, man, I'll let you guys go. Peace. Hit that like, subscribe, please, man. Let's get uh, let's get the numbers up. I I obviously need to comb my hair. No one told me, but uh, yeah, man. Please share and like the video. Leave a comment. I give away prizes. Uh, I gave away a whole pinball table one time. So who knows next what I'll give away next? You can see parts are starting to build up. So when that happens, I have extra parts laying around. Um, and if you think I'm kidding, <laughs> I'll give you a peek into look at this closet. This is filled with nothing but tech uh, boxes and all that other stuff. Insane. I can't even get back that far. Look, look Xbox controllers in the boxes. I have a sick, sick uh, issue with, with spending money. I've been. Peace out, guys.